Good morning friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rentway Options and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 22nd, 2023. Well, I know that was probably a little bit of a painful sell-off for a lot of folks yesterday, but I have to tell you, and I think everyone understands honestly, that it was way overdue. We needed to see um, that pushback to relieve some of the pressure, uh, not so much in the diamonds, but in the uh, SPY QQQ and IWM. So um, we'll have to uh, be really, really careful here how we approach this morning because we still don't understand quite yet if the bulls are going to fight back here just yet or if the bears are going to follow through and push us on down to the downside so what does that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the wednesday edition of the morning market prep video Good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek here and see if we can get a little idea about how we may want to approach the market for today. First off, um, what, what we want to notice here is we've had some price action damage in all of our index charts. So you can see for the first time since um, the beginning of the year, we um, have kind of broken um, this upside trend here and uh, we, we broke a fairly significant level of price support. As you can see that little choppy box that we were in for about a month. Well, we kind of broke that down here and creating a bit of a problem for us here um, in the chart. And um, the only index that really suffered any technical damage, that would be the diamonds. And you can see that we broke down below our 50 day moving average. And unfortunately we have our 50 day moving averages rolling over. It's, if, if it's not rolling over, it's certainly flat, but I do feel like it's rolling over just a little bit, kind of rounding out the top. And you can see all of our major moving averages are up above current price. So um, we'll want to watch that pretty carefully here um, uh, because that could create a bit of a moving average squeeze. And it's certainly going to create a resistance point. If those bulls push back up, and they very well could, and I would expect them to fight back, um, if they push back up in here, we're going to run into a fairly significant level of price resistance. And I think the question is going to be, will we be able to push on through that, recover that support? Or will those bears maintain that control in here and push on down? Now, I've kind of mentioned and uh, suggested that the bulls are going to be pushing back right today. That may not be the case. We, we have to remember that the bears haven't eaten for some time now. And so they may be a little bit tenacious and we could easily see the volatility of the day pushing us through to the downside here as well. So kind of keep that in mind. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration, I would look for some support down here in this area. You can see these price support levels in here could certainly be tested um, without too much uh, you know too much trouble now again that's a pretty big move price action uh, wise but certainly is possible if those bulls find inspiration today then I would look for that press back up here to retest these resistance levels in the chart and just keeping in mind in the diamonds that's a pretty significant level so we'll want to watch that pretty closely we take a look at our spy the good news here in the SPY is I think this was very overdue. I mean, not only overdue, but really technically necessary for us to pull back. We've been so over exuberant and so overextended in the short term of this market. This um, certainly shouldn't have been a major surprise. Now, looking at this chart, if we take a look at our technicals here, we've damaged no technicals here in the chart. We're just pulling back to that 50 day moving average, which is a pretty normal move. But I would suggest that the high probability getting this close to the 50 day moving average is uh, that high probability that we would test here on that 50 day moving average. And I even see that possibility that we could drift on through there and maybe test that 200 day moving average. But here's the good news. If we hold 
um, in those 50 and 200 day moving average areas. Overall, notice right across here, there would be the upside trend. So if we could hold in this area, the longer term upside trend could certainly resume to the upside. Maybe we give up some of this frothiness of this short term upside trend that we have clearly broken at this point in time. So that would mean um, the upside, tr uh, the longer term could come into play. And honestly, I think that would be a potential bullish thing for the market if we can hold in this area here. And um, I would watch for that possibility very closely. If we were to give that up, if we were to fail below that, and, and I don't think we would do it in a straight line to the downside, what I think would possibly occur if we're actually going to fail that is we would rally back, find some resistance, and then move lower in that chart. So keep a close eye on there. And then our QQQ, we've got a similar situation here with the QQQ. We were just incredibly overextended and honestly, we're still a bit on that overextended side. Um, looking at this chart, however, if we pull back into these support levels between that 50 and uh, 200 day moving average and hold in that area, and I think there would be reason to believe that we could hold in that looking at the price action. If we hold in there, I think that may give us a good opportunity to actually establish a, um, a more of a quality upside trend rather than that overextended, over exuberant um, rush into the market. So we'll want to watch that closely in here. I'd still like to see a little bit of rest in here and let that 50 kind of gravitate up here, providing that extra support in that chart and uh, instead of just whipsawing right back up, which has been kind of the the norm of this, pri um, this market right now, just wild speculation um, um, to the upside. So watch that closely. Now, if we take a look here, um, we certainly have given up the current upside trend, but um, we could actually establish a bigger bigger trend to the upside. And I don't think we've suffered any technical damage here in this chart on the QQQ. So watch that carefully. Again, if those bulls find inspiration, look for a retest back up here in that resistance area of the chart. And there may be reason that that could occur. Remember, we've got um, NVIDIA um, reporting today. So um, after the bell, if NVIDIA reports well, I could certainly see that opportunity that we could bump right back up here and maybe even recover that area in the chart. So we'll want to watch that. If we were to bump back up in that area and then find resistance, that's where uh, probably some stress will come in the market. We could um, see that little bit of downtrend beginning here and uh, then we'd start looking for those next levels of support below. So um, kind of keep that in mind. If we take a look at our IWM, IWM also relieved an awful lot of that frothy pressure that we've been seeing here in the market, pulling back to a pretty decent support level in the chart. Um, and uh, well, at least at the moment, trying to hold on here on the day. One thing we do have to recognize, we have broken this upside trend and unfortunately we created a lower high here in that chart. So if those bulls find inspiration today, look for a push back up into here or maybe up into that area right in here, looking for that next resistance um, um, in that area in that possible downtrend um, if that were to occur. If the bears were to continue to press today, if we find reason for that, then um, we're gonna have to start looking on lower here. And you can see there's a lot of price congestion in here. No real clear place of that price support. So you might have to come all the way down to the bottom right in here of that basing area in that chart to find that next area of uh, clear support in that chart if those bears were to get going. Then let's take a look at our VIX. You know, one of the things that's been really, really interesting here um, in the VIX is we have been, I think, my personal opinion is lately we've been very complacent. Um, the rush to hurry up and buy something, um, the um, chasing of everything in the market created a condition here that really set up that painful sell-off yesterday. And if we take a look here, for the first time in a while, we're breaking that downtrend um, that's been going on here in the VIX. 
But if those bulls come right back in and resume, what we have seen lately is we get these interesting moves in the VIX where um, fear drops out way faster than fear is coming into the market. So keep an eye on that. Um, if this pulls back and holds some support in here, that's going to be the problem. Um, uh, if it holds some support and we find that higher low in here, we could really establish a bit of an upside trend here in the VIX if that were the case. If the, the bulls continue to uh, fight back and they take over and we resume uh, moving to the upside and breaking back through that resistance area, then watch carefully in here. If we were break to break back down below some of these areas of the chart, then hey, it's bullish uh, to the upside big time. Um, then let's take a look at our T2122. This is something that um, I've been talking about for a while. And as I've said, there's never been a time, never been a time when we maintain an, an overbought condition for a longer period of time like we have here, then we typically get that painful selling that can come in all at once. And that's kind of what happened yesterday, um, breaking those support levels and coming down in here into this bullish reversal zone. Now, keeping in mind the bullish reversal zone, um, we haven't hit the bottom of that. So when we have been overly bought for so long, it's entirely possible that we could push even lower here today. But we don't have a whole lot of room to go. However, it might be quite a few points. Um, if we were to push on down to the lower side here of uh, that bullish reversal zone. But um, once we reach down in, in this area, we start looking for those signs that the bulls will come back and start pushing back to the upside. So watch for that carefully here today. I would expect, um, if not today, over the next couple of days, we're going to see a little bit of bullish relief here in um, our T2122. So watch that carefully. Our T2122, Oh, eight. Um, here's an interesting thing. The T2108 pulled back pretty substantially here. Stocks above their 50 day or 40 day moving average coming in um, only 51, 52% of those holding above their 40 day moving average. Um, and that's, I, I see this as actually very, very positive because when we look at this chart, we're right down here in that area where there's some price support. We didn't break um, that mid range here in the T2108. So if we can continue to maintain this area in here, maybe rest a little bit in here, I see that selling as possibly a bullish sign here in the market if we see those bulls step up and defend. As long as those bears don't push on through and really start breaking some major um, areas in the chart, um, T2108 is still on the bullish side here. Our uh, T2107, um, whoops, Got to type the right symbol. T2107 is even more to that bullish side. If you'll notice in here, we have pulled back 55% of the stock still holding above their 200 day moving average. And as you can see, we're holding on to a, uh, an upside trend here in that T2107. Um, no harm, no foul here. As a matter of fact, we're pulling back into an area where we could find support in that chart and that's just relieving some of this really overextended condition that we had in uh, T2107. So um, it, it needed to happen. It was overdue to happen. Um, and now the question is, will the bulls um, fight back and, and regain control or will the bears um, uh, continue to fight and um, really um, take over the control of the market and that's yet to be seen but we'll watch that right here i can't can't say this is a negative now i'm going to skip over t2101 this morning and the reason i'm going to do that is this i thought was interesting yesterday with as big a move in the selling that we saw here look how small the volume was boy that is something that's really really odd we moved 600 nearly 600 points in the Dow and we barely registered volume. What is the deal here? Um, I gotta tell you, it is oddly, oddly 
concerning that we're seeing that and I think a lot of it may be due to some of this zero data expiration trading that's really messing up a lot of things in the chart uh, charts so watch that closely and if we look at the spy also extremely low volume with that heavy of selling um, interesting um, interesting dynamic here that we're dealing with QQQ um, almost lower than holiday volume yesterday as we sold off um, in I don't think we're getting um, really great data on um, um, our momentum indicator here at all with volume so low let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar is a pretty light one for the day um, what you'll notice here is we've got mortgage applications coming in this morning we'll want to keep an eye on that in fact they should be out here any moment now um, so keep an eye on that we're going to get a state street investor confidence it's not a market mover typically then we've got several bond auctions to be paying attention to this afternoon as we wait for the fomc minutes now remember the fomc minutes um, they're a month old okay and um, obviously we have received some new data um, suggesting that um, our inflation is stickier than um, they would like it to be. So will we learn anything new from the FOMC minutes? I'm going to say likely not, but that doesn't mean that we won't get some major knee-jerk price reactions as a result of those minutes. So you'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, I think what I would key a little bit more on is the recent Fed speak that we've heard and it's been pretty resounding um, from the Fed members that we've got more work to do um, on the inflation side. So I, I think that's more pertinent right now than what they were thinking last month um, in light of the new data. Um, then um, I think we will quickly shift. Um, I think as we kind of get through the day, we're going to quickly shift to this number Thursday morning. Everybody's going to be uh, worried and concerned about the GDP number tomorrow, of course, jobless claims. And then um, on Friday, we get uh, the Fed's favorite reading, which is the core PCE number. So the, as we move into the end of the week here, um, I think we have some potential fireworks that could set off either bullish runs or bearish runs in the market when we hit some of these big numbers. So just be careful and watch for that. It wouldn't be at all surprising to me to see kind of a choppy whipsaw day today as we kind of wait for that, um, wait for those numbers to start coming out. Um, let's take a look here on our earnings calendar because we have a busy day on the earnings calendar and um, we have some notables in here that really have the potential to move us pretty substantially in the market. First off, I will mention on that earnings calendar, if you want to catch the full list of earnings, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list. I'll go through a couple of these really quick, but I'm already running out of time. So looking um, in here Nvidia is one after the bell you're certainly going to want to pay attention to we're going to hear from um, NetApp as well this afternoon keep an eye on that we're going to hear from eBay um, eBay will be interesting to pay attention to that could be a little bit of a, a read on how uh, consumers are feeling um, in eBay we're going to hear from um, Cheesecake Factory We've got uh, uh, WWW uh, Wolverine that we'll be reporting. We're going to hear from Ruger, and we're also going uh, to hear from Mosaic today. So there's a few of those notables um, on that list. Again, make sure you click the link below the title of the video, and that'll take you back to the morning blog. How about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today? But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that quick favor, and that would be to click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And I do truly, truly appreciate that. Um, if that um, um, if you find those videos to be worthy and also uh, 
uh, please uh, thank you to everyone who shares these videos out there on their social media feed the channel is growing it has slowed down but that's okay we're we're continuing to grow and um, it's largely due to um, you kind folks uh, leaving those comments and things like that it allows the algorithm to show these videos to more folks let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very very careful um, with the volatility that we could see over the next few days so um, remember these are more of just uh, uh, you know, put put something on your list, watch it closely and make sure that's something that you have some interest in. I want to draw your attention to what's been going on here in the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar has been rallying here and typically when the U.S. dollar rallies, that's not a good sign for the overall direction of the indexes. Typically, a stronger dollar means a weaker market. And as we've been rallying here, creating what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern, um, we still have that potential in here of more upside on the US dollar. And the reason is, is because we know the Fed is likely going to continue to raise rates. So you'll want to keep an eye on this. And this may actually be a reasonable long position to take in the chart. Now, the opposite side of that is going to be our precious metals and commodity type prices. When, when we see the dollar strengthening, we will typically see gold, silver, food, um, things like um, wheat moving lower as the dollar moves up. So you can um, maybe find some short trades in things like that. If the US dollar is going to be moving to the upside, you can maybe pick up a short position in gold or silver, um, um, copper, um, might be something that could lose that 50 day moving average here. I honestly, I still think this is a pretty bullish chart um, overall, but typically when we see the dollar strengthen, we'll see those commodity type prices weaken over time. So watch that closely. And we certainly are seeing bond yields moving to the upside. If you take a look at TBT, and this is, and this is not something I want to have occur because I'm actually holding a longer term in TLT. Um, thinking that those bond yields would start to come down. But what we're seeing is the opposite of that. Those bond yields are moving up and that's creating this nice little bullish potential pattern in here on TBT. Um, if that breaks that W up in here and holds, then I would say um, uh, bond rates could move on higher. Now, having said that, when bond rates move higher, we would typically see the NASDAQ particularly sell off we would see more selling coming into the NASDAQ because big tech tends to utilize um, those um, bonds heavily um, to finance um, their um, research and development activity. So it has a negative effect usually on the NASDAQ. So um, let's keep an eye on these stocks like AMD. AMD pulling back in here. This is a nice little uh, pullback. We've given up this support level and that is a little bit of concern. But if we rest back into this trend or hold in here, I think there's still that opportunity that some of these could come back around to the upside. So I keep an eye on some of those. I keep an eye on stocks like Generac. Generac in here is going to be reporting. Um, and so you'll want to watch this carefully. Um, uh, actually, it just reported yesterday. Um, um, if this holds some support in here, holds this area, this is that pattern here that we talk about all the time is that round of bottom breakout type pattern. And this is actually the kind of chart I want to see. I want to see more of that stable price action, not the big giant whipsaws, not the multi-point gaps and all that kind of thing, more of that stable trend. Um, you can you can usually have better success with a trade like this. So watch that closely. If that can hold, there may be some opportunities for that one to come back around. Keep an eye on the CRWD. CRWD yesterday struggled back and forth between my in my alert area here on the chart. But what I want to point out is that we've slid right over here against trend. And so I think CRWD may be all kinds of setup for that upside move. You may want to take a look at um, stocks like FedEx. FedEx has pulled back pretty substantially here um, yesterday. 
broke a little bit of support but overall you have to notice that this is still in a pretty good upside trend so maybe a little bit of rest and we can resume that upside trade in FedEx. Take a look at casinos. Um, Win casino here, very, very strong. Uh, we are loving, loving that gambling here. And as you can see, um, resting pattern here, very, very tight in that consolidation. I would be looking for that next opportunity that that may pop out of that box right there and move to the upside. So keep an eye on stocks like Win. So with that, guys, I'm running out of time. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here today. I do truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, be safe. Have an awesome day. And we'll see you right back here, bright and early Thursday morning. Wish you all the best.